calling in the frequency of the beyond today. As you know, cosmic rays are like a specific force and they come to a planet for a very specific reason and the magenta ray has now come to planet Earth for such a reason because it brings the energy. It's basically the energy of the unlimited which many are beginning to experience as everyone is stepping into this new aspect of themselves, this awakened DNA aspect, this new human aspect. And so the magenta ray is helping with that because it's helping us go beyond our perceptions, our culture of divinity, our culture of connection, everything that we've known so far that we've been working with because it's like an X factor. So when the magenta ray appears on a planet, it's bringing in something new. It's bringing in this new culture that affects, it can affect the way an entire population uses language, um, does artistic expression, uses technology, um, thought patterns. It's a shifter. It's a shifter that just like goes into the entire planet affecting every system internally and externally. Rays are very powerful. So when the magenta ray comes, we get to experience a new level of ourselves. And that's what's happening and that's what's exciting. So a little more about this ray. It's known as the 13th ray or the ray of Metatron. Okay, 13th depending on how you count the rays. If you count rays 1 through 7 as the rays that have been around for a long time and then rays 8 through 12 as the rays of ascension, then the 13th ray is the magenta ray, the ray of the Godhead, the ray of the monad here to teach us right now. So we're absorbing it and you're already experiencing it. Two of the easiest ways to experience it are at sunset. You'll see like a magenta ring around the sun about 10 minutes before the sun goes down. And also another way is when you stare at a flame or a fire. And when you stare at the fire, there's a tip of a flame, like the vapor that goes on beyond the, the flame. So it's like, it's not the flame, it's not beyond the flame, it's the dance of the flame. It's the vapor of the flame, the ray that goes all the way, the energy and the in-between, the atomic in-between, the interface, the interface, like the interdimensional kiss where the ray comes in, interfaces through this body vehicle affecting it, affecting all that's around, affecting my world, my culture, my, my way of doing everything and introducing all of us to these new frequencies. Very exciting. I have a book called The Magenta Ray. It's as of yet unpublished, but I want to read a few things about it so you can just like absorb, drink some of this in, um, and start to identify it because the, this ray is a beautiful, beautiful frequency. And just by inviting this color in, um, things can happen. We're in it already, so let's just explore. So this ray says that consciousness is always an edge. There's always an edge to it. And the edge always gets pushed out further and further. This is the evolution of consciousness. And there is always a beyond. Always a beyond. And this is the ray of the monad the ray of the Godhead and it says, I am the unknowable aspect of God. I am God beyond all concepts of God. For just as Metatron is the unknowable archangel, the ray of the Godhead so too is unknowable. For it is not God that is unknowable, but my essence. My form is like the medieval incense burners of the Roman Catholic Church, huge, holy containers of burning fragrances. For I am a fragrance, a smoke, a vapor that permeates and infuses the air. I dissolve and dance much like the dancing flame tip of the magenta ray that infuses the air, except that I continue on and on and on. I am not the edge or the space, but the vapor that thins out or disseminates forever into infinity. For although I may appear as 10 particles per square inch of space, I keep expanding until I am 10 particles per galaxy, then 10 particles per universe, 
than 10 particles per unlimitedness. Yes, a holy vapor that expands forever. Wow. And why would the ray of the Godhead be any smaller or any less capable of reaching out into spaces too big to comprehend? For the space beyond the infinite is the domain of the Godhead. So let's go into a little bit about some of the decrees. Ah, yes, I'm feeling the expansiveness right now. We need new language for the unlimitedness of our being and our culture. So, as we may be beyond the scope of your understanding for now, we are not beyond your recognition of us, for you know us well. Those are the masters speaking, and the Chohans of the 13th ray shining upon planet Earth from the beyond. Think of the sun touching the face of a flower. That beautiful dance of photosynthesis, symbiotic photosynthesis. Such a meeting ground of light from the face of the great sun to the face of a sunflower. A cosmic kiss. And so it is with the light of the 13th ray, kissing the faces of those making the journey, much like a symbiotic photosynthesis. Life from light, growth from light, light as sustenance. This is the light realms of home, those you know. You feel them now. Jump into the dance whenever you like, but stay on planet Earth as well. We shall meet on your face. The kiss of light on the face of a flower. Whoa, whoa, so I am just gonna go on into some of the decrees, just to name a few. This is a large book, but we're gonna cover a few of them, and I hope to have it published soon, by the way. Here are some of my holy decrees. I am the flame vaporized. I am the lick and the flicker of the flame, appearing and disappearing. I am the dance of the flame, its movement, its constant appearance, and disappearance into and out of existence. I am the interdimensional kiss. Mm. I am the track of the trackless appearing by virtue of the dance itself. I am creation in love with itself. Mm. I am the flame pattern of no predictable or traceable or repeatable pattern. I am the ruleless, the formless, the trackless. I am the undefinable color, the unrepeatable pattern, and the inaudible sound. I am untamable nature. Woo! I am the unpredictable, the unpredictable behavior in any formula. I am unpredictable for the sake of unpredictability. I am the solution, but only for a split second. I am the edge light of glistening shards of light on earth. Whew. I am edge technology. I am flicker technology. I am the flame flicker of freedom ringing. Oh. I am the potential for the dance of all things and forms. I am the courtship of all intertwining rays. Wow, that's a dance. And on and on and on. I am the attraction vacuum of all flames. Ready for this one? I am the tongue of all flames in divine union. <sighs> wow. <sighs> I am the lights turned on for a flash moment to reveal intertwined flames. I am the dance of the Aurora Borealis. Mm. I am the sound of the human gasp. I am the constantly moving edge where one dimension fades into another, the indefinable chamber. Mm. And I'm going to stop here, except I'm going to say one more. 
I am the representation of the sovereign soul in flight, forever released into its formless nature. <sighs> wow. Well, I'm going to continue reading these in the next time we meet here because the energy of these decrees very specifically bring this energy in. I hope you feel it within your heart space. I feel it within the higher heart area and I feel it along the front part of the spine and there is an essence to this flame that's kind of um, takes your breath away with excitement when you know something exciting is coming. Um, it's this undefinable knowing aspect that's coming in for us in our lives in the way we live, in our relationships, in the way we love. How exciting is that? We're inviting in our own unlimited nature with the help of the cosmos. With the help of the cosmos right now bringing this flame in. So namaste my friends. Magenta Ray love. Magenta love to you. Mm, so much love.